Hi, this is Jewel with Jewel's Remedies, and today I am making a spirit bath soak. So in my bath soak is salt, rose floral water, essential oil, and baking soda. Now these ingredients all together have a high vibrational energy. Salt is known as a protection and purification mineral as it draws out toxins from the skin and your aura. Baking soda is refreshing as it restores pH balance to skin. So you may um, have had stories growing up where someone's taking a sits bath or even using a baking soda on the bee sting was something that my grandmother and mother talked about. <clears throat> and then rose floral water is actually a byproduct of the steam distillation process to extract essential oil from the rose plant. And again, this is high vibrational. Um, traditionally, it's been used in weddings, um, for love and happiness and then also it's been used to aid in meditation and prayer it's very relaxing and calming and for my essential oil i again always love lavender essential oil uh, the benefit is that it's mood balancing if you're feeling too high and anxious it brings you down to a normalized level and then if you're feeling really low and depressed it brings your mood up so very mood balancing so what i have today in order to make this spirit bath is a cup of salt to that I'm going to add a cup of baking soda and we're just going to mix that together and then you can see from it I just want to make sure that all of the salt is kind of covered with the baking soda and actually you can stop here but I always take it a little bit further. So if you were to stop here, you would just take a handful of this and uh, pour it in your running bath water, and then also add about five drops under the faucet to actually um, let the essential oil mix in the water. But today, because I like to make big batches, I go ahead and add in about oh and I can smell it. it smells amazing I add a fourth cup of the rose water now as the salt and baking soda absorb this I'm going to also add in about 10 drops of the lavender essential oil to the spots that have the rose water and so the benefit of this is that as this kind of dries it's going to absorb all of the essential oil and the rose water I wish you all could smell this it smells amazing and how I use my spirit bath is after I shower and clean your tub if you need to run your bath and in your bath while the water is running add a handful of these ingredients and then all you do is soak think about you know and while you're soaking and relaxing think about what kind of fear doubts anger that you want to release because just visualize that as the salt is drawing out your toxins also draw out any kind of negative thoughts or feelings that you want to get rid of and then after I soak for about 20 minutes and you'll feel your body pulsating um, and getting much warmer I always like to air dry and actually during that time where I'm letting my body air dry you will notice that your skin is a lot smoother your skin is a lot more fragrant and use that time to think of the things that you do want in your life that you want to draw into you now that you've drawn out these toxins so that is just one little beauty ritual i love so now that i've made my salt bath 
I'm gonna go ahead and store this in a mason jar, keep it capped because you don't want your ingredients to evaporate. So go ahead. Ooh. And this is about the texture that you'll get. It's amazing and it smells wonderful. So even if you just wanna open your cap once in a while to inhale the great benefits of the great ingredients, go ahead and do that. That's one thing with essential oils. Like the best benefit is just inhaling it right out of the jar. So this is, I'm kind of just using that same kind of wisdom for the spirit baths, but I love using this. I love gifting it to family and friends, um, especially as I have nieces who are reaching that age of puberty and these hormonal changes and swings. I think this is a great gift for them. It's natural ingredients, so it's safe for feminine parts, um, even as they want early washes, I would recommend making a paste with baking soda and your rose floral water. So those are some other quick options, but I love this. I hope you do too. Feel free to like, comment. I'll have the ingredients and recipes down in the prescription box and have a great day.